Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Welcome to this week's devotion vlog. It's entitled Accepted. It's from the Issue series, and we are in Romans chapter 4. The word accepted, think of that word. You know, we all long to be accepted. We all long to be loved. We all want to be part of a community. Remember when you were a teenager, we all experienced trying to be accepted, trying to fit in. But that can even go into our adulthood. It comes from insecurity. When we don't understand our identity in Christ, when we don't fully grasp the love of God. And we live in a society that you're accepted usually by your performance, how well you are at something. I was very different than the people that I grew up around, but what one thing that it caused me to be accepted was my performance in football. I was good, and so therefore I was accepted. This way of thinking, because of our culture, can influence even our walk with God. And we still think it's by works that we're saved. It's We might not speak that out of our mouth, but by our actions it shows us, shows it that we try so hard to be accepted, even in the Christian community. Even sometimes my different biblical understanding of things seem to be different than other Christians. And if I am very honest and truthful, I might not be accepted. But we got to stand on truth, bottom line. And we got to know that God accepts us. The one person that accepts us just because he loves us. There's nothing we can do to earn his favor, to earn his love, to earn his acceptance. He accepts us simply because he loves us. And we see a great example of this in Abraham. That's what Paul brought forward to the religious leaders. It would be hard for them to argue regarding Abraham because they saw Abraham as the father of their faith. And so Paul points out that Abraham was justified by God and was accredited as righteous, as we see in, here in Romans 4, simply because he believed. This was pre-law. There was no law yet established. Paul just believed, and he was accounted as righteous. So understand that. If it's not by works we're saved. It's by grace, through faith in Christ Jesus lest any of us should boast. We can't boast. We didn't earn this. We just accepted it because God accepted us simply because we believe. So that can free us of the burden of trying so hard to be a good Christian. Now there is faith in God that creates works, but it's as we put our faith in God that He gets to work. It's really the Holy Spirit. We're only holy through Holy Spirit. We're only righteous through Holy Spirit. The works that we do can only be good through God, through the work of the Holy Spirit. So as we put our faith in God, God goes to work in us and begins to do great works through us. But it's not our works, it's His works. And all we got to do is have faith in God. You know, we live in a country that people long to be stars. We're starstruck. We desire, you know, we, we lift up people so easily and we tear people down so easily depending on, you know, you can be on top one moment and on the bottom the next moment simply by what you say or what you do. God came to Abraham and revealed to him the stars in the sky just like you see behind me. And he says, so will be your inheritance. We are those stars. But we're the stars, not by our own light, but by the light of the sun shining through us. And in this dark world, we're called to shine bright. The key is humility. The moment we forget where we came from and who is our source of all things, is the moment we become a fallen star. See, a fallen star is not even really a star, it's a meteor. We're God's stars, but we shine only through the sun. And so I encourage each and every one of you to stay humble. It's a prayer we got to pray to God. God, keep us humble. See, the humble will be exalted. The proud will be brought low. 
And this world needs us shining bright, the light of God's glory, the light of God's um, love, that that will come forth out of our lives. So be free of the burden of works and just believe. That is the word for you today. God bless you, and I hope this encourages you today. Have a wonderful week in Jesus' name.